Right, so let's have a look at the idea of an order, this is what's called an order of magnitude. And all an order of magnitude is, it's a number rounded to the nearest power of 10. So let's say, for example, say if I have uh, the number, ooh, let me see, so say 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 2. The power of 10 here is 10 to the power of 2. Th this number here is 300, if you remember from scientific notation. So this number written to the nearest power of 2, I'm, just I'm not going to say is equals, I'm going to put this like a squiggly equals to say that it's um, approximately. So that's approximately equal to 10 to the power of 2. So let's close up. So the order of magnitude here in this number is 10 to the power of 2. Say if I have, uh, let me see, this number. So say uh, like 7. 0.3 by 10 to the power of 4. Well, this time we've got to be a little, we've got to look at it a little bit more. So, the order of magnitude here, well, do you see the way in the first one 3 is less than 5? So, because 3 is less than 5, we just take this number here. But because this number here, 7.3, it's, it's, it's greater than 5, so that means it's closer to 10. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add 1 to this power here. So that's approximately equal to 10 to the power of 5. So if the number is bigger than 5, if this number here, the decimal number here, this 7.3, is bigger than 5, we add 1 here. And if it's less than 5, we just leave it as it is. So let me see. If we have this number, say, or say if we have the number 2,432, and we want to, what's the order of magnitude here? Well, first of all, we're going to convert 2,432 to scientific notation. So 2,432 will be in scientific notation, 2.432 by 10 to the power of three. If you can remember how to do that, if you have it, go back to the scientific notation um, video. Now, 2.432 is less than five, so the order of magnitude here is 10 to the power of three. Whereas if we have the number 8,937, eight, say 89,371, in, in scientific notation, that's going to be 8.9371 by 10 to the power of 4. Which is, So the order of magnitude here, this number here, 8.9, is bigger than 5. So we're going to add 1 to the power, so we get that's approximately equal to 10 to the power of 5. So the order of magnitude there is 10 to the power of 5. So, so an order of magnitude is just a number rounded to the nearest power of 10. So let's have a look at this question. By how many orders of magnitude is this number, so 345,632, uh, by how many orders of magnitude does it differ from this number here? So what would this number be? 567,123,423. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert both of them to scientific notation. So this number in scientific notation would be, it's going to be 3.45632. So 3.4 five six three two by ten to the power of and because we what did we do move the decimal point one two one two three four five places so it's by ten to the power of five this number here in scientific notation is going to be five point six seven one two three four two three by ten to the power of and we move the decimal point one two three four five six seven eight places so it's by 10 to the power of 8 so the order of magnitude here well the decimal point the decimal number 3.45 that's less than 5 so we're just going to take 10 to the power of 5 and the order of magnitude here because 5.67 is bigger than 5 we're going to add one onto that so this is 10 to the power of 9 so go back to the question now by how many orders of magnitude does this this number here differ from that. Well, the order of magnitude here is 10 to the power of 5. The order of magnitude here is 10 to the power of 9. So they differ by 10 to the power of 4. 9 minus 5 is 4. So by how many orders of magnitude does it differ? 10 to the power of 4.